International Menstrual Hygiene Day emphasizes the importance of good menstrual hygiene management worldwide. Initiated by the German NGO WASH, united in 2013 and first observed in 2014, this day emphasized the need for safe and hygienic menstrual practice. In Lagos, the HOJ Foundation part up our girls' initiative educates young girls in the local government area, Oshodi, about menstrual hygiene and provide essential sanitary products. Representatives stress the importance of breaking the silence around menstruation. Menstrual cycle is something that you should be proud of. It's something that should make you happy because when you start your menstruation, it means that you are growing older, you are getting to the puberty age. I'm sure they must have taught you these things in class. However, the girls will take on menstrual hygiene education by the HOJ representative. Bring out your pad. Your pad shows the process of growing because you have to grow to adulthood. So when you start seeing your menstrual flow, it shows that you are growing. It's not a thing to be sad of. Do you understand me, children? When you have your pants, you have your, your pad on you. You quietly open it from this place. You can see it all open. This is a strap that you put on your panties, underneath your panty lines. And then it has a gum at this side. Can you see? You stick it on the pants and put it in a straight line. You have another gum at the back, I think. Yeah, you remove it like this. Are you seeing it? Then you put it on your pants. Why you're doing it is to prevent it from falling out and make it sticky on the pants line. And you wear your pants, your pad, at most three hours. Let's say you're, you're outside and you are not able to four hours because it gives infection if you keep it for what, a longer time. And also it stains you. Do you understand, children? HOJ calls for possible free accessibility of PAD by government for efficiency. If the government can always make these things free for the children, especially those in public schools, you know, and um, those who can't afford it, it's, at least that, 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 that they are, PADs are affordable that the government can actually do free for these children. They are not supposed to go through all this they are going through at this point. As the children has learned about hygiene and use of PAD, I learned that if you want to start menstruating, that first of all, you need to wash your hand before putting your pad into your underwear and wear it. I would like other girls younger than me or in my age range to also learn about menstrual health. Oindamala Olukutum for Voice of the People TV.